everyone. I wanted to film my um, entry for Mel, who's Hearts 1217 for her Winter White Challenge. Um, I came across her video a few, no, it's been like a week, probably, ago, and I wanted to do it, and I just haven't um, got a chance to film my entry yet. Um, you had to, the guidelines were you had to include a snowflake. Um, you needed to include purple and white. You had to use at least one stamp. Um, you had to have one Cricut cut. Uh, you had to use twine of any color, and you had to have fun. So you could make a card, a scrapbook, layout, or a banner. And of course, as most people know that watch my videos, I'm more of a card maker. So I made a card. Um, my snowflakes are right here. And I wanted to use more than one so it looked like it was snowing. Um, I used diamond stickles on them so that they were shiny and it still kind of fit in with like the white theme because the diamond are, they're, most, if you've seen them in person they're white but they have um, like pink and gold or goldy kind of reflex in them. And then um, it was kind of fun sticking to a purple and white theme because I would didn't think it would look wintry and it looks really wintry because I use like light purples. I pulled out every single purple Copic I have which isn't a lot because I don't have a ton of Copics but um and then I just colored different aspects of the card with the different colors like even the bird his hat and scarf are purple so um that's my well obviously that's my purple and white and it was nice because it was simple to color the image because I used just like one color family basically except for her hair and the hat. So it was a lot easier. I colored the image really fast. Um, the stamp I used is, this is a Lily and Tweet stamp by I think the Cat's Pajamas. And then the Snowflake stamp actually came from the winter activity set that Judy, who's Judy Bakes 22 sent me. Um, my Cricut cut is actually the background mat. Um, I only have like three Cricut cartridges, <laughs> so it was kind of tricky to pick a Cricut cut, but I think this is kind of a cool idea because I don't have any like spell binders or anything, so I got to make like a decorative background mat on, um, it's actually like textured purple cardstock. It's coming off a lot more washed out than it is, but it's actually, um, it's actually kind of like, it's not bright, but it's like a muted purple. I think that's why my car looks wintry because I chose like more of the cooler toned, well except for her outfit, cooler toned purples. But it's a Cricut cut, it's the certificate from the, the one cartridge that comes with your Cricut, the plant in school book cartridge. Um, <coughs> well, excuse me. I just cut it out on roly poly um, at four and a half inches. And the twine, I only have one color of twine, so it's good it wasn't a specific color, and I have gray. So I used um, this gray twine at the bottom. And then I did. I had lots of fun um, actually coloring and um, putting the stickles all over. I used on Lily's outfit, I used um, my frosted lace stickles, and I haven't really used them before. And it's kind of crazy because they, like, they're the glitter is really little and it's not like super shiny so it's a little bit different but it still provides a little bit of a twinkle on the fur on her outfit so anyways yeah that's my entry um, for Mel's challenge um, I will link her video in the down bar below so you can go check it out because there's still time to create um, an entry for it and thanks for watching bye